Stair singing it. Am I right? I look for a movie with it. Anyone know? Of course. I think I think that was written for a movie that he sang that song in. What was the name of the movie? Oh, now you know. A fine romance. <laughs> no film buffs here, huh? Good evening, everyone. Um, my name is Father Doran Stamball. Welcome to St. Michael's by the Sea and our St. Michael's Jazz Even Song. Uh, what a beautiful evening it is. A lovely evening for jazz and to be outside. Uh, this is an opportunity not for, uh, not for jazz to bring people to church, but for the church to bring jazz to people in these strange COVID times. So this is, if anyone asks, it's a church service. Uh, and it is a church service, but I have to say that um, uh, there, there's uh, far less difference uh, between church and worship of God and the music of jazz than maybe some people realize. So uh, it's a joy and a delight to, to be here this evening. And I would like to welcome our band. Let's give them a hand, shall we? Thank you. 
And I do want to take a moment before we go any far any farther to introduce the band. So um, let's see if this works again. Huh? Uh, so Joey, that's actually that's Leonard there that's playing the yeah. And uh, these guys haven't met. And then Leonard, that's Tom playing the drums. And okay. Uh, we have on the far side uh, Joey Carano playing the guitar this evening. And next, next to him is Leonard Thompson on the keyboard. And on this side, on the saxophone and on the flute, is Keith Bishop. Next to him is Dean Davidson, who's responsible for bringing these cats together. And in the middle, we have the legendary Tom Morey with us this evening on the drums. And it's a delight to have him. Um, you have uh, our order of service is in the service bulletin, and uh, the first item of business in our order of service is another tune.
Okay, we'll continue with our invitatory and Psalter on page three. And uh, you're welcome to, I would invite you to respond in the bold-faced print if you'd like. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O oh, gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O oh, Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing thy praises, O oh God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Thou art worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O Giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds.
Earlier this week, my daughter asked me, what's even song anyway? Good question. And I explained that even comes from evening. It's not unlike the word Halloween, which is all hallows even, like evening. And the song is, well, song is a song. Uh, even song is when you put evening prayers together with music. And in the Anglican tradition, the Church of England, it's been going on for uh, 500 plus years and in the wider Christian tradition another thousand beyond that and when you get into Judaism we're going back a couple thousand uh, at, at least uh, and uh, of course in Anglicanism uh, the Anglican Church the Church of England there's often choirs uh, that are singing and organs uh, but music is music right and so we have jazz with our even song here Part of the structure of the evening prayer service is that there are parts that are prayed uh, every evening. The, the hymn that I just spoke with, talked about the setting of the sun is prayed every evening. But the psalms, they cycle and they're different every day. And so the psalms that we have appointed for this evening are Psalm 114 and 115. The psalmist writes, Alleluia. When Israel came out of Egypt, the house of Jacob from a people of strange speech, Judah became God's sanctuary and Israel his dominion. The sea beheld it and fled. Jordan turned and went back. The mountains skipped like rams and the little hills like young sheep. What ailed you, O sea, that you fled? O Jordan, that you turned back? You mountains that you skipped like rams? You little hills like young sheep? Tremble, O earth, at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the God of Jacob, who turned the hard rock into a pool of water, a flint stone into a flowing spring. Not to us, O Lord, not to us, but to your name give glory, because of your love and because of your faithfulness. Why should the heathen say, where then is their God? Our God is in heaven. Whatever he wills to do, he does. Their idols are silver and gold, the work of human hands. They have mouths, but they cannot speak. Eyes have they, but they cannot see. They have ears, but they cannot hear. Noses, but they cannot smell. They have hands, but they cannot feel, feet, but they cannot walk. They make no sound with their throat. Those who make them are like them, and so are all who put their trust in them. O Israel, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. O house of Aaron, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. You who fear the Lord, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. The Lord has been mindful of us, and he will bless us. He will bless the house of Israel. He will bless the house of Aaron. He will bless those who fear the Lord both small and great together. May the Lord increase you more and more, you and your children after you. May you be blessed by the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. The heaven of heavens is the Lord's, but he entrusted the earth to its peoples. The dead do not praise the Lord, nor all those who go down into silence. But we will bless the Lord.
from this time forth forevermore. Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Thank you. 
as a flower is a lonely thing by Billy Strayhorn. What did I say? I said lovely. It is lovely. It's lonesome too. <laughs> we'll continue with our lesson, which is from the Gospel of St. John this evening. Just then, Jesus' disciples came. They marveled that he was talking with a woman. But none said, what do you wish? Or why are you talking with her? So the woman left her water jar and went away into the city and said to the people, come see a man who told me all that I ever did. Can this be the Christ? They went out of the city and were coming to him. Meanwhile, the disciples besought him, saying, Rabbi, eat. But he said to them, I have food to eat of which you do not know. So the disciples said to one another, Has anyone brought him food? Jesus said to them, My food is to do the will of him who sent me and to accomplish his work. Do you not say there are yet four months, then comes the harvest? I tell you, lift up your eyes and see how the fields are already white for harvest. He who reaps receives wages and gathers fruit for eternal life so that sower and reaper may rejoice together. For here the saying holds true, one sows and another reaps. I sent you to reap that for which you did not labor. Others have labored and you have entered into their labor. Many Samaritans from that city believed in him because of the woman's testimony, he told me all that I ever did. So when the Samaritans came to him, they asked him to stay with them, and he stayed there two days. And many more believed because of his word. They said to the woman, It is no longer because of your words that we believe, for we have heard for ourselves, and we know that this is indeed the Savior of the world. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Song of Mary, and this is known as a canticle. It's a kind of a, its own hymn found in the text of Holy Scripture. This is one of the pieces that is a mainstay and is found in evening prayer every evening. Mary said, My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior. For he hath regarded the lowliness of his handmaiden. For behold, from henceforth, all generations shall call me blessed. For he that is mighty hath magnified me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on them that fear him throughout all generations. He hath showed strength with his arm, he hath scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He hath put down the mighty from their seat, and hath exalted the humble and meek. He hath filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he hath sent 
empty away. He, remembering his mercy, hath hope in his servant Israel, as he promised to our forefathers, Abraham and his seed forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
We'll continue on page nine with our closing prayers. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever, amen. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful, we entreat thee, O Lord. That thy holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill, we entreat thee, O Lord. That we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses, we entreat thee, O Lord. That there may be peace to thy church and to the whole world, we entreat thee, O Lord, that we may depart this life in thy faith and fear and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ. We entreat thee, O Lord, that we may be bound together by thy Holy Spirit in the communion of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all thy saints, entrusting one another and all our life to Christ. We entreat thee, O Lord, Watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give thine angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ, give rest to the weary, bless the dying, soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for thy love's sake. Amen. Thank mm -hmm. you.
bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. Thank you again for being here on this beautiful evening. Uh, St. Michael's Evensong is made possible by a generous gift from Gordon Klett and the Klett Family Trust, uh, which means, yes, which means, thanks to Gordon, we're able to pay our musicians. Uh, the tip jar that's here is in addition to what we're able to give them, uh, which is not nearly what they're worth. So could we give another round of applause for the band this evening? And uh, as I say each Sunday evening, I have it on good authority that the only music that's played in heaven is jazz. So please, yes, please, if, if you care about your friends and, you, and your family, and you care about their soul, <laughs> tell them about St. Michael's Evensong every Sunday at four o'clock where they can come and prepare for heaven and get ready for the jazz that's played there. Uh, and uh, if you're, you should know this as well, that we are recording the Sunday Even songs, and they are posted on St. Michael's YouTube channel. So if you'd like to just at home have a listen, uh, go to our St. Michael's YouTube channel and the playlist is Even Song. Uh, and there's lots and lots and lots of incredible music to listen to. Uh, right, so, uh, hope to see you next week. Oh, I understand there may be some weather. It's going to have to be really, really bad for us to cancel. We've only done it once, uh, but we've also had tents with a little bit of drizzle and rain, so there might be some weather next week, but I certainly hope uh, to see you next week. Thank you again for being here. <laughs> ¶¶